Hi, and welcome to Notability Basics. What are our goals for this tutorial? First, we're going to look at what is Notability. Then we're going to look at how to create a basic note. Then we're going to talk about backing up your notes, which is extremely important. Finally, we're going to organize your notes, creating dividers and subjects. So let's start by talking about the basics of Notability. So the first thing I'm going to do is tap on the Notability icon, which brings me to basically my home page. Now, where do you begin? You've got all these things to work with, and I think the best place to begin is just by writing a simple note. So in the upper right-hand corner, you see a box with a little pencil. We're going to tap on that. When we tap on that, we basically have created a note. So right now, at the top, you can see T, and that's for text, a blue pencil, which we're going to write with, a highlighter, an eraser, pair of scissors, and a little hand. And we're going to talk about what all those things do in another tutorial. But for right now, we're just going to say, Hello, sweet home. Hello, sweet home. Welcome to Professional Development 2015. And by doing that, I have created my first note. I created this note. I'm going to go back. As you can see, up at the top, note October 20th, 2015. There's the timestamp of when I created the note. But now that I have this note, I want to make sure that I don't lose it. And what I'm about to do is a really important thing that you want to make sure that you do yourself and you have all your students do, which is to go into the bottom left-hand corner and tap on the gear icon. When you tap on that gear icon, you're going to see your settings page. So I'm going to go up to the very top and hit Auto Backup. As you can see from the screen, I personally have everything backed up to my Dropbox folder. I use Dropbox more than Google Drive. For me, it's just easier to organize. But you could also back up your documents in Google Drive. Not a problem. You just switch over, and it says your notes will now automatically back up to Google Drive, but I don't want that. I want them to go to Dropbox. Also in the settings, you can manage your accounts. You could back up to iCloud. You could choose different themes. For document, maybe you want to have a title on every single one of your documents. On my notes, I always have the date and the time. In this setting, and also in a different setting, you could also have default note paper. So right now, it's just on white, but I could go to lined. I could go to a grid. It really depends. There's other locations to decide what type of paper you want to use. So I'm just going to go back to my white page. Typing. If you plan on typing a lot in Notability, you can automatically, from this point, set up your font, your style, your size, the color of the ink that you want to do, whether or not you want spelling to be checked. And I would highly encourage you to do the tap anywhere just so you can pretty much pick where you want to type. For handwriting, this is the place that you would go to if you are left-handed. You can toggle over to make sure that you can write comfortably. And really, those are the major things in settings. So you want to make sure that your iPad is set up to auto backup. That is the most important setting out of this whole screen. The next thing that I would do is, especially if you're really thinking about, okay, I'm going to be writing a lot of notes. I want to organize them. If you want to organize your notes, you have two things that you can do. You can create a divider and you can create a subject. If you look on my screen, you can see that I have two dividers, AP Chemistry Period 4 and AP Chemistry Period 6. If I click on one of those, you can see the subjects that I have so far. Each has a different color. You can totally change the colors. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But these are the subjects, and these are where the notes are stored. Within a subject, you have different notes. This is where your notes will be located. So I'm going to close that, and I am going to add a new divider. In this divider, I'm going to call this Notability because I'm going to start building my presentation right here. And when I'm done with my divider, I'm going to hit, well, you know, done. And now what I want to do is I want to add a subject in my divider. I'm going to call this subject Notability Basics. Notability Basics and then hit done. So now I have a subject within my divider that will help me start organizing all the content that I'm going to put into this presentation. If I want to close this up, my subject goes away, I just see my divider. Right now I have no notes in my Notability Basics, 
So what I want to do is I want to go up to all notes and there is my note that I just created that has no subject on it. And I want to drag that note. I'm going to hold it and I'm going to drag it over to Notability Basics. Now, if I click on Notability Basics, I see that I have one note in there and it's just called, you know, note. So what have we done so far? We've created a note. We have a general idea of what Notability is. We've learned how to make a divider and we've learned how to make a subject within that divider. Now, I'm not too really happy with the color of that Notability Basics and there's other things that I want to modify. While the plus button is going to give you the opportunity to make a subject or a divider, what I want to do now is I want to go over to Edit. When you click Edit, you see these gears by all of the dividers and in this case the subject for Notability Basics. If I click on the gear by Notability, I can see that I can change the name of my divider right here. You know, maybe I'll call this 2015. Okay, that's good. I could also delete my divider from here. So now I'm going to close that. But I also want to change the subject. So Notability Basics. I could change the name. I could change the color. Oh, what color am I feeling? I like that blue better. I could actually put a password on this if I want it. Or I could also delete it. But I'm pretty happy with that. So we're going to call that done. I have Notability Basics. I've changed the color of it and I'm going to close that. So as far as my editing is concerned, I've changed the title of my divider to Notability 2015. I've changed the subject to a different color. And the final thing I'm going to do is go into the note itself. I'm going to change the name of this note to Test Note so I can see what I've done so far. And then I'm going to hit done. So by hitting done, I'm now out of edit mode. So I have my new divider, I have my new subject, and within that subject I have one note, and that is the test note that I just created. If I want to get back into that note, I just click on it, and I can modify it from there.